Morten Strøm, som er Customer Experience Konsulent her i SuperOffice. Og jeg skal igen gøre opmærksom på, at webinaret er på engelsk, men er tekstet med danske undertekster. Dagens menu, det bliver en, en, en introduktion af de nyheder, der er i SuperOffice 10 kort, og selvfølgelig med fokus på konfigurerbare skærme. Så er der lidt praktiske eksempler, der bliver vist, hvordan man tilføjer nye felter, og hvordan man konfigurerer skærmen med de nye felter efterfølgende. Og så selvfølgelig slutte af med, hvordan I kommer i gang. Jeg håber, I får stor glæde af præsentationen, og den starter her. Hi, and welcome to today's webinar. With Superfast 10, we introduced extensive technological enhancements to the solution, offering a whole new range of flexibility and configurability of the system. And one of these improvements is the screen design. And in this presentation, we will show you what's new and how to get started with configurable screens to optimize your main screens in Superfast CRM. And my name is Jeanette, and I work with the customer experience team here at Superoffice. And my goal is to show you how you can use Superoffice CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. Now, if you have any questions on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send us a message directly by email, on social media, or reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again, it will also be uploaded to our YouTube channel where you will find more tips and inspiration. Now let's take a look at the agenda. We will start with the short introduction to SuperOffice 10 and the new features and overview some features that are coming. Then we will talk about why configurable screens is an important feature and how you can benefit from it. Then we will continue by diving into what's new in SuperOffice and how to use the new screen designer. And at the end, we will give you some more detailed information on what you need to get started with configurable screens in SuperOffice 10. And as you know, we just launched SuperOffice 10, our latest version. It offers even more tools and features to help you customize your CRM solution and build stronger customer relationships. Now we'll take a quick look at what's new before we jump in and show you how to get started with configurable screens. And the first one is advanced dashboards. And this feature helps you to make smarter, fact-based business decisions by creating customizable charts that use a variety of CRM data. And then we have configurable screens, and this is what we will focus on today. We also have SuperOffice AI, which is a brand new functionality that helps you save time and reduce manual work by automating various business processes. And you don't need extensive knowledge of AI technology to use it. Then we have request handling in mobile CRM. And this feature helps you handle your customer service request directly on your mobile device when you're on the go. And then we have DataBridge, where you can exchange information between cloud solutions seamlessly by setting up automatic data transfers that save time, remove manual work, and ensure data quality. We also done some improvements to our web forms. You can now choose even more fields. You can benefit from an improved visual design on rating buttons. You can present your field in two columns. You can also use sections or multiple pages. And you can enjoy new ways to publish your web forms. And available first in Pilot is the new seamless integration with Microsoft SharePoint. And this feature will be generally available to all cloud customers later via the SuperOffice App Store. Another upcoming feature is Sales Targets, where you can get a good overview of your important KPIs and set targets such as activity level, sales, average deal size, so that you can proactively improve your sales efforts. And that was a short intro to the new features and improvements to the existing ones in SuperOffice 10. And now let's talk about why you should configure your screens. Different companies and different teams have different information needs and process support needs. And we know that information that's ideal for one group can be simply noise to another group. So instead of compromises that doesn't please anyone, a much better solution is to customize screens that are optimal for each user group. 
Today, there are some options for customizations in Superva CRM, but these have some limitations within the out-of-the-box settings. For example, there are limited user-defined fields available to be placed on the first screen. And if you want to add more fields or change layout, this often requires consultancy effort with the use of extra tables, custom screens, macros, and CRM scripting. And in Superfast 10, we've introduced a new way to configure the layout of your main screens with the help of the new screen designer. No scripts or coding is required. And you save time and get focused on the information that's important specifically for you. And the new screen designer lets you configure the layout of the company and contact screens to fit your information needs and workflows better. For example, you can create different layouts to match the needs of different teams and user groups in your company. And with configurable screens, you can get more options to configure your CRM solution to fit your specific needs. For example, you can add new fields, position fields where you want, hide the fields that you never use, make important custom fields easy to access. You can use different screen layouts for different user groups and reduce information noise to help users to find information easily and stay focused on what matters most. Now let's dive in and take a look at how it works. All companies and organizations have their own requirements for the information they need to see and register. And this could be for customers, sales, projects, contracts, and so on. And as an administrator, you had and still have the possibility to add your own fields in settings and maintenance. But as I mentioned, in earlier versions of Superfice CRM, you had limited possibilities to define what you see and what you don't see on your main screens. And if we take a look at the company card, here you could only feature three fields on the first page out of the box. And all user-defined fields, including the three selected to be displayed on the first page, are also available in the More tab, as you can see here. Now, let's take a look at how we can add new user-defined fields, and especially those of you who are not familiar with this feature. And similarly as before, this is the only way to configure custom fields, and it is still a very important feature when we're customizing views to fit specific users and user groups. Let's go to Settings and Maintenance, and open the field screen. And here we have different tabs we can add fields to. We have company, contact, project, sale, follow-up or document. Now let's click the add button and type a name into the name field. In this case, we can make a field for discount. And in the type list box, you can select the type of field you wish to add. For example, a number, a text, or a date. And in the default value field, you can enter the value to be inserted by default. In the tooltip field, you can type in a brief description to pop up when the mouse pointer is held over the field. And this could be a description with information for the users who will use this field. And the PROG ID field contains a default ID, and this can be overridden by partners for better connection with partner applications. And instead of changing their code, they can write in a more logical name or specific ID for user-defined fields. You can also check mandatory if you want it to be mandatory to fill in this field. You can check read only if you do not want it to be possible to amend the field. Or you can check indexed if you want it to be possible to search by this field. And a little tip here, you will see the template variable name followed by a code. And this is the ID of the field you're creating and can be used to reuse the information you enter in this field, for example, in documents and emails. So when you're done, you can click save and a new field will be displayed in the fields list and in this preview. 
And as you can see, we cannot adjust the position here, only sort the ranking with these arrows. And before, there used to be more options here. And this is because we're adding fields to the company card. You will get the same options when we're working with the contact card. And a new screen designer comes on top of your current ability to create your own user-defined fields on these two cards. And it's with this feature that you now design the layout of your main screens to fit the needs of different users. If I go to another card, for example, the sale card, you will see more options in the same view. And this is how we used to customize the layout of fields on all cards before we introduced the screen designer. And here we can place a field in a pixel grid. And if I open the settings, we can also see more options for positioning and label alignment. And trust me when I tell you that it's much easier to work with the new screen designer. But we will come to that later. In addition, here we'll see the possibility to add page one fields per user group and define up to three fields to be displayed on the first page of the selected screen. And these are some features that will be removed once you activate the screen designer and publish your main screens on the company and contact card. And this procedure is the same for those who add extra fields in Superoffice Service. You still create custom fields in admin under system design and in the screen designer, you change the visual layout. Let's check it out. You will find a new screen designer in the navigator to the left-hand side. Here you can configure the layout of your main company and contact screens and define what needs to be viewed by different groups of users. And your sales team, support team and management team do not necessarily have the same focus and requirements concerning the data they need to access most frequently in SuperOffice. And when there are different needs, the best solution is to create custom screens for each team. And currently you can create layouts for the company and contact cards as seen on the top of the screen. And the layouts list displays any existing screen layouts with the preview screen on the right. And in this case, we only have one and that's the default layout. And the layouts are marked with status, if it's published or draft, and the assigned user groups. And now let's take a look at how we can edit and use the different functionality of the screen designer. We can click Edit Layout. On the left-hand side, you will find a menu. Here you have fields, where you can drag fields from the list to the layout. You have elements, where you can drag various elements, such as labels, dividers, links, and buttons to the layout. So if we click a field or an element, we can edit the relevant settings. And then we have columns, where you can select how many columns you want to display in a tab. First, let's add some new fields. And in this field section, you can find all available data fields for the selected screen layout. So you can use the filter function to find specific fields. And this also includes your custom fields, like the one we just made. So we can drag the field from the list to a stapled area in the selected tab. And to make sure a field is always visible, no matter which tab is selected, we can also place it in the header or footer. We can also move the fields by clicking to the left of the field label and dragging it to a new position. And you can also move a field to another tab, so you can drag it to the tab header to open the tab, and then you can place it here. And you can also edit field formatting and other settings by clicking the field. And then we see the available settings here to the left. And this also may vary according to the selected object. Next, let's add another field. You can add temporary fields if you're focusing on a campaign, for example. So we can add a single interest. And to delete the fields, 
you need to hold the mouse pointer over a field and then click. And please note that mandatory fields cannot be deleted. And also some tabs such as ERP and Note cannot be edited since they perform specific functions. And in the element section, you can add various non-data elements such as labels, dividers, links and buttons. And labels can be used to create headings for specific groups of fields or a column. So you can click and drag the label element to the layout, then click the label. And here you can add a new label. You can also add the label in other languages by clicking this icon. And you can change the font formatting. You can use dividers to create sections within columns. And this is particularly useful for grouping various types of information. So you can click and drag the divider element to the layout, then click the divider, and then again the settings will open. And here you can change the spacer type, dotted, line, or blank. You can also add links to look up information in other websites, allow users to run CRM scripts from the company and contact card, or add navigation to other parts of SIPOffice using SO protocol. And you can also use buttons to add links. So let's click and drag the link element to the layout. And here we're going to replace the text. And in the action list, select the action to perform when clicking the button. Open website, you can add a link to a website. You can select this option to add a CRM script to run specific actions in SuperOffice, like for example, create a request or send an email. And then we have shortcut SO protocol. So you select this option to add a shortcut to other screens and records in SuperOffice. Now let's add a link to LinkedIn. And the tip here is that you can use template variables in the links. So we'll include a template variable for the company name. In the mode list, choose if the link should always be available or if it should only be available in read or edit mode. And if you choose the link to get data from another system and update the company card, you need to use that script in edit mode. If not, you won't be able to save. And if you choose to look up a website, for example, you can use always mode. And buttons work similarly to links, the only difference is that you can add a style to the button. And let's take a look at this option again when we create a new layout. And then we have columns. And by default, a tab in SuperVCRM has two columns, but you can use anything from one to four columns depending on your needs. And some customers have almost 100 fields so then it's a good idea to separate them into more columns to organize them and to be able to view and sort more data. And please note that changing from two to four columns to one column will move all fields into one column and you will get this warning. Using four columns may affect visibility of some fields, so you may consider to hide some of the labels. And if a user does not have the screen size to fit all columns, they will be stacked on top of each other. And if you want to split fields further, you can add them to a new tab. So to add a new tab, you can click Add up in the corner. And under Tab Title, you can add a new tab name. And select the number of columns you want to use in the new tab. And please note that you cannot rename any of the default tabs or remove a tab that contains mandatory fields. These fields must be moved to another tab first. And if there's only one tab left, you cannot delete it. Now we can start to add 
or move fields to this tab. And this way, you'll have all important details on the customer's agreements and subscriptions stored in one place. If you want to remove a tab, you can select it and click Task and remove the tab. And if you need to revert to an earlier version of the screen, you can also reset to Factory Settings. And this option discards all changes and resets the screen layout to the standard layout delivered by SuperOffice. You can also choose to discard Draft, and this will discard all changes and resets to the published version of the screen layout. And when you have finished designing, you can either save to draft. So you can click this button if the layout's not finished yet, and if you want to discuss the customizations with your colleagues before publishing. You can also save and publish, and then it will publish the layout to the selected user groups. Or you can click cancel, and then it will discard all changes. And if you click Preview Published Version, you will see what your users are seeing in the solution right now. Or you could choose the preview of the unpublished draft that you're working on. And the exact same principles apply to the contact card. So we can choose it from the top menu and make the same changes as I've just shown you. The only difference is the fields available that are specific to a contact and such fields as academic title, preferred language, and other service fields are now shown by default, but they can easily be changed or removed with the new screen designer. Now let's start with a new layout. And this time I'll show you a few different examples of customizing the screen layout for a specific user group. And with custom screen layouts for each of your teams, Finding customer data will be easier than ever. The most relevant data will always be available and visible. So you can remove, move, or hide irrelevant or less important data to unclutter the company and contact cards. And the result will be a cleaner and tidier screen for your teams to work with. And in this case, we will customize the screen for the customer service team. So to create a new screen layout, you can click Add under Layouts. And from here, we can select the layout in the Create New Based On list. And the new layout will then be based on the selected layout. Enter a name for the new layout. And then click Used By field and select the user groups that will use this new layout. Let's choose Services. Enter a description. And click OK. And it has Status Draft meaning it's not yet visible to any users. And if you later on want to edit the layout settings, you can double click the layout in the list to open the Edit Layout Settings dialog. And please note that you cannot edit the settings for the default layout. And to delete a layout, you need to select the layout in this list and click Delete. And user groups that have been assigned to a deleted layout will go back to the default layout. And with the new layout selected, we can now click Edit Layout. Now let's move some customer information that's more important for the service team onto the first page. You can hide fields that are less important. And don't worry, when you remove fields, you're not removing them entirely from the database, only from this layout view. And you can add them back anytime. And now the first page is ready. 
We could also add a new tab specific for the team. Let's call it service. And then select fields from the lists. You can divide certain fields so that it's easier to read and find information. And we can add headers. Then press save and publish. We can also add a button to the contact card. Select contact in the top menu. Add a similar layout like we did with the company card. Edit layout. Then press elements. And from here we can add a button. Let's add a link that automatically creates a new request. Then we select Open Website and add the link. And this link opens a new request with the template variable for the contact. And then select Open in a new tab. And then we select the mode and set the style. And here we can choose how the button looks based on the predefined button colors in SubProfess. Then again, we press Save and Publish. And the preview of draft disappears and the status is set to Published. And the users are not affected right away. They need to log in again or refresh to see the changes. Now let's take a look at the changes we have made. So we go back to SubProfess CRM. And we select the company card. And the user I'm logged in with here is part of the sales user group and can only see the changes we made to the default layout. So here we can see the campaign field, the changes we made on the more tab, and the new agreement tab. And on the first tab again, you can also see the link to look up the company on LinkedIn. Now let's go back to settings and maintenance and switch user groups. So we go to users and we set the primary to services. Log back into SuperOffice CRM. And now we can see the new layout for the service team and the new fields on the first page and the service tab. And the tab will help the team access information just relevant to them. And this will reduce the time your users spend searching for information and make them more efficient in their daily tasks. Now let's try the new request button. Select a contact. And here you see the new button. Click it and it will automatically open a new tab with a new request. And with the correct contact connected to the ticket. And as you can see, there are so many possibilities with configurable screens. And after this walkthrough, I hope you're ready to start designing too. So let's go over some details and learn how we can get started. 
after the upgrade to Superfast 10, there are some changes for you to note. Following the release of configurable screens, you discover that the More tab on your main company and contact screens will display the user-defined fields and any extra fields from service in the ranking order. And many of you have a lot of fields in your More tab already, so here's what you need to know after you get access. The sorting and placing of your user-defined fields will change and automatically present itself into two columns in the More tab of your CRM solution. And if you want to revert back to how the layout used to be, we suggest that you document today's layout. And the easiest way is to simply take a picture of the More tab. And if you're not happy with the auto-generated layout, you need the new screen designer to adjust it. Otherwise, you will need to rearrange by sorting the user-defined fields, like we showed you in the demo when creating new custom fields. But this is also a great opportunity to clean up this area. Delete fields that aren't being used, add labels, add new tabs, and sort your fields to get a better, clearer overview. And now to the question on how to get started. And this feature is only available in Superfast 10. And we started the rollout process for our online customers who have no or few user-defined fields in late October. And we will end with those with the most fields in mid-November. And every administrator or technical contact has already gotten more detailed information around this by email. And version 10 is available for on-site customers in November as well. So please get in touch with your Superfast representative to plan and book a date with the consultant to update to the latest version if you have not done so already. And to access the configurable screens feature, you also need a license called Developer Tools. And previously known as Expander Services, the Developer Tools subscription now gives you the configurable screen functionality. It also provides access to such tools as macros, scripting, expander tools for service, and a development sandbox environment, as well as the ability to add custom apps to your solution. If you do not already subscribe to developer tools, your company has been granted free access to the new screen designer for a limited time to allow you to make changes to the layout of your More tab after the upgrade. And the new screen designer is available up until December 31st this year. And after this date, to access this feature, you will need to subscribe to developer tools to be able to configure and customize your Super of a CRM solution. And changes made when using the developer tools free trial within this period stays the same after developer tools is removed. And as always, your Super Office representative or partner is more than happy to provide you with more information about developer tools and to help you order the required license. To sum up, with configurable screens, you can create a personalized view for different teams in the organization, and this will help your users to work more effectively. You can give users what they need by having the most necessary information at their fingertips. Your users will save time and focus on what matters most. And because you spend less time searching and managing related information, you'll be able to create a better customer experience for your customers. And to help you get started, we have prepared some additional resources for you. First of all, you can always view this presentation again or share it with your colleagues. And the webcast will be uploaded on our YouTube channel and website. You can also check out the new section on community. There you will find an article with more information, which will link to how-to guides and FAQs. In addition, our CRM consultants will be happy to help you with configuration workshops, design implementation, training, and much more. And your Superfit Sales contact or partner will be able to answer any additional questions you might have and to help you obtain access to the developer tools on a permanent basis. 
Now that's all we have for now. Thank you for following along. And we hope you will use the free access to explore the screen designer feature and use it to modify your screens. I wish you all a super day. Jamen, uh, tak til Janet for den uh, for det fine webinar. Jeg håber, det var uh, brugbart for jer. Uh, en kort opsummering af, hvad det var, hun gik igennem. Så er det selvfølgelig lidt om nyhederne i SuperOffice 10. Uh, og hvorfor gør brug at konfigurere bare skærme. Der er lidt om før uh, hovedkortet og mere sidefelter uh, og overgangen til den nye brugerflade, skærmdesigneren. Uh, og så selvfølgelig, hvordan man tilføjer nye felter og, og nye layouts. I forhold til, øh, i forhold til øh, hvad der normalt der er links, så er det en lidt mere skrabet version i dag. Jeg har fundet en artikel fra McKinsey, øh, som snakker en hel del om, om øh, hvordan man kan kapitalisere på, på, øh, på det data, der, øh, man har i sit CRM-system. Og det er i den grad også med til at starte nogle tanker om, hvad for noget data, der kan være relevant at have på, på jeres kunder. Både i forhold til at håndte nyt salg, men også i forhold til at levere en bedre service og, og skabe mere Øh, skabe mere sådan. Vi har sammensat sådan en lille en, en, en skærmdesigner workshop på en halvdags varighed øh, i forhold til <coughs> undskyld, i forhold til at få noget træning øh, på hvordan man øh, sætter det her op. Vi sender jo de her webinarer øh, til at efterfølge, og de er, det er en, en god øh, måde at sidde og klikke igennem, så man kan få prøve funktionaliteten af. Men hvis man har behov for en, en konsulent, der kommer og sidder med, hvor man også kan få lov til at stille, spørg, stille nogle spørgsmål, jamen så har vi lavet sådan et, en standard workshop til jer her. Hvis der er nogen af jer, der gerne vil kontakte os vedrørende den allerede nu, så skriv til Gitte i chatten, så tager vi fat i efterfølgende. Og ellers så er I selvfølgelig også velkommen til at smide en, en mail til mig på kaspermsnabelagsuperoffice.com som sagt, hold øje med øh, mailbakken. Øh, præsentationen her, den bliver sendt til jer i et link i den optagede version. Og øh, hvis I har feedback, øh, eller øh, det kan sådan set også være, øh, hvis I har nogle ønsker eller et eller andet til, hvad I godt kunne tænke jer, der blev holdt nogle webinarer om, det lytter jeg altså også til, så er I også velkommen til at sende det igen til min mail, kaspermsnabelagsuperoffice.dk Det var alt for i dag, og vi stopper optagelsen her.